fettuccine with salmon is perfect. Kevin, the food, the wine, the flowers, you really went all out. <laughs> I went all out? Yeah. Didn't you do this? Excuse me? <laughs> Victor phoned me, said that I had to rush home right away because there was this mystery person who wanted to meet me. Well, when I came in here, I presumed, after seeing you in the midst of all this, that you had set this up. Kevin, you, you sent me a handwritten invitation inviting me over for dinner tonight. A handwritten invitation? Was it in calligraphy? Yes. Victor. Victor. Victor's the one responsible for this. Why? Well, he's been after me to loosen up and enjoy life just a little bit more. So I guess he took matters into his own hands. Oh, boy. <laughs> Maybe I should go. No. <laughs> Are you kidding? Let all this good food go to waste? I mean, my father went to great lengths just to make sure I could enjoy myself, and you know what? What? I'm having a terrific time. Me too. And you know what? What? There is nothing wrong with two friends enjoying a nice dinner together. So what say we just make the most of a beautiful evening? What say we do? Levy's lecture was even more informative than I'd hoped. Oh, yeah, I absolutely loved it. I think a girl just can't know too much about her neighborhood-friendly serial killer. I'm gonna have nightmares. I just hope I don't. Well, why would you? You barely heard her word. You spent half the night with your neck craned to the door looking for Kevin. Well, he invited me to this shindig. It's not like him to not leave a note or at least call me and tell me he's not gonna show. Where could he be? Excuse me. Hello? Hello. Uh, I wasn't sure you'd pick up. Victor, we were just talking about you. Don't you two have better things to do with your time? Well, we wanted to thank you. This dinner is absolutely amazing. You really outdid yourself. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, th 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 don't let me give you. Uh, one last word of advice. Don't pick up the phone again. Put the damn thing off the hook and relax. Well, I think that's a great idea. Good night. Mission accomplished? Kevin and Lucy will be walking down the aisle before the year is out. Lucy, come on now. You're starting to look desperate. I am desperate. It's busy. What do you say to a girl's night out? Hmm? Oh, so we could go back to my suite and have that room service and watch uh -huh. pay-per-view movies? Uh-huh, and I can raid your mini bar. Sounds like a party to me. Oh, boy, okay, and we can order that romantic dinner for two. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Any meal we have together after this is gonna be a letdown. Well, then I say we enjoy this while we can. I wanted to make something special for Julie's homecoming, and this was my first night off since you were acquitted, so... Voila! Oh. <laughs> Mark, you didn't have to do this. I wanted to. Oh, I hope you like what I made. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, we get that. Must be the entertainment for the <laughs> I hope you're not here for me. In a way, I am. I, I, I wanted to see how you were settling in. Do cops normally make social calls after trying to put someone away for murder? Frank. I, I wanted to make sure there were no hard feelings. Come on in. Please. Listen, you were only doing your job. I don't hold that against you. Good. Well, then I, I guess you won't mind accepting this gift. What is it? Almond Rocco, when you were in lockup, I remember you saying how much you liked it, so. <laughs> Thank you, Detective. Sure. You know, I don't even know your first name. Oh, it, it, it's Alex. Alex? Alex. 
Should I be calling a lawyer for someone? No, no. Alex just dropped by to say hello. Alex? <laughs> I didn't even know you had a first name. <laughs> well, wonders never cease. You can still call me Detective Frank. What smells so good? Wait, don't tell me. <laughs> uh, rosemary? Garlic. Prosciutto, maybe. Good nose. <laughs> Stay for dinner. I'm sure there's oh, enough. I, I... Yeah. You sure you don't mind? Lurk, let's set another place. We've got company. <sighs> a few weeks ago, you were begging me to help you find a way to get Kevin back. How did you get leveled by Hurricane Scott? We have this child together, and somehow we've always had this magical, un breakable bond between us. What about Kevin? Kevin is everything I ever wanted in a man. Well, that certainly didn't stop you from sleeping with Scott. I wanted, it, it's not that simple. It's, it's really not. I, I got dumped, remember? I am the one who got left at that altar all alone. And I was very lonely and very sad. And I ended up in Florida with, with Scott. And it, it was magical. It was like we were transported into an, another world. Who do you want, Lucy? Scott or Kevin? It's not just up to me. But you have to decide what you want. How do you decide between the two halves of your heart? Do you want my advice? Oh! So now, you finally come up with some advice for me. Yes, I would love to hear it. Well, I told you to just give me a minute. Do nothing. It is best to stand still when you don't know where you're going. After Sam died, it took me years until I was ready to let someone in. You can certainly last a few weeks. Okay, then. Who am I to argue with wise, wise Ellen? Oh, the words I like to hear. How lucky am I to have you in my corner? Oh, well, we'll save that conversation for another day. But do you mind if we order now? Because I am starving. Kid Flambe and his fireworks creme brulee. Ta-da! Such fanfare. Now, you'd better put these on. Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Right? And... Okay. Hey. And... <laughs> Hold on. Ha! And... Contact! Contact! Ha! 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 Sir! <laughs> and the finishing touches... Bonsai! Truly an original. <clears throat> well, Mary Scanlon will accept no substitutes. <laughs> now, I want you to know that this brulee is good, but it's not nearly as sweet as you are. Mm. Magnificent. The very word I hope that Kevin and Lucy are using right this minute. Do a job well done. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right, that was sinful. Death by chocolate. At least I didn't put that in the book. Speaking of, did you put together a list of murder clues that we discussed? Yeah, I left it for you at the hospital. You didn't get it? Uh, no. Nope. Strange. But it's all right. I have a copy. I made a chart. Chris figures prominently in this. It was Chris's stethoscope that was found around Grace's neck. And no one had more opportunity than he did to plant that stuff in your closet. Kevin, Chris isn't your killer. Is this you coming to the defense of a friend? Or am I really stretching it? What's that? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> Victor! <laughs> Well, it's a good thing Victor hired a guitarist and not a full-blown orchestra. <laughs> That's nice. Any 
anyway, as I was saying, I'm telling you, Chris... Chris is my friend. There's no way he would ever go to any lengths to do anything. That's lovely. You know what? I'm thinking that we should probably take the hint. You mean maybe we should put off the work and enjoy the music? I think that's what Victor had in mind. Have a seat. More okay. champagne? Yes, please. to propose a toast mm. to Julie. I'm glad to have her back here with me where she belongs. Here, here. <laughs> Thank you. Now it's my turn. It was about a year ago that Frank saved you from Greg Cooper. To, uh, to perfect timing. Julie, I'm glad you made it out of the basement, safe and sound. I'll drink to that. But can we change the subject? So, Detective Garcia, do you have family in Port Charles? No, no. Which is kind of a relief at the moment. Considering the way bodies are dropping, uh, I'm glad I don't have any family to worry about. Excuse me. Mark, did you make some coffee? Yeah. I'll, you know, I'll serve. You said. No, really. I'll help. You want to take your foot out of your mouth now or wait until dessert? I'm talking too much shopping. Well, you might want to give that whole murder or death thing a rest. <sighs> Look, Julie, I'm sorry if what I said before upset you. I, I'm sorry. I, I just haven't been in a dinner party in a while. Don't worry about it. I'm overly sensitive anyway. You have every right to be. Look, I, I think I should be going. Lark, thank you for a terrific meal. You're welcome. Listen, I didn't mean Ju to... Look, Julie, I'm glad you're back at home surrounded by friends. That's all I wanted to see. Well, the next time Italian's on the menu, we'll give you a call. Yeah, you can uh, bring in autopsy reporters. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Was it something I said? Didn't that guy here kind of remind you of Scott? I thought we agreed. No mention of the word K or S. Oh. Right, right. Oh. What is it now? Distressing. Kevin. Mr. K. Uh, loves. Green goddess dressing. Oh, you are hopeless. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm going to be just fine. I am not going to think about either one of them. I'm perfectly capable of that. I just need a little practice, that's all. Well, aren't you the big spiritualist? I mean, try meditation. That's it. You are brilliant. I just, I just need to clear my mind completely. You know that is a brilliant idea. And start with a clean slate, Come too. on, come on, let's go. Well, aren't we going to eat? No, this we do better on an empty stomach. Do what? And why is it we all of a sudden? This is going to be fun. Just trust me. You'll absolutely love it. Now, listen, I need to get you some sweats. I have sweats you can borrow. Sweats? Yeah. Now, listen, don't eat. You need an empty stomach. Stay right there. I'll be right back. Yeah, I probably need a drink. Right about now, the guitarist that I engaged to serenade Monk and Lucy will be strumming those lovebirds right into each other's wings. Have I made the find of the century? Are you really the last of the great romantics, Victor? I just wish that I, I, I could have given them a symphony orchestra tonight. Oh, no, no, the one musician. Oh, no, that's a great idea. I mean, it, it sets the tone. You think so? Definitely. Uh, pardon me. May I present Hans Peter Kendall, on loan to us for the entire evening from his klezmer band. Victor! Don't talk! Polka! 